Are you finding that your Kegels aren't getting your results? Hi, I'm Michelle, and today we're going to troubleshoot four of the major mistakes that men tend to make when doing Kegel exercises. Now, if you have questions or comments about these mistakes, please feel welcome to let me know down below. Now, contracting too strongly is the first mistake that I want to discuss. This is especially a problem for beginners starting out with their pelvic floor training. And if you contract too strongly, it actually tends to cause problems with your technique. So the focus when you start to learn to do your Kegels is to actually get your technique right and not contract too strongly. The fix is when starting out, just do your Kegels really gently so that you can feel your pelvic floor muscles tensing and then releasing using the right action. Then when you're confident that you're using the right technique, you can progress to increasing the intensity of your exercises. If you're not sure about your Kegels, then you may like to watch this Kegels exercises for beginners video, it's linked above. Now, the second mistake I wanna discuss is holding your breath. And this is another really common mistake during Kegel exercises. The problem with holding the breath is that your pelvic floor muscles don't learn to work when you're breathing normally. So as a result, when they need to work during your everyday life, they won't be able to. So this mistake makes training much less effective than what it could be. Now, the fix is actually quite simple. It's try to practice breathing normally during your exercises. So do your Kegels gently at first, as I just discussed, and start with small, shallow breaths to get the right coordination. Then, as your pelvic floor muscles become better trained, you'll be able to find that you'll be able to breathe normally during your exercises. Now, the third mistake I'd like to discuss is tensing or tightening the abdominal muscles. And this is one of the most common mistakes I see when doing Kegel exercises. The problem with this mistake is that it can increase the downward pressure from your belly down onto your pelvic floor. And this can make your exercises more difficult and it can also worsen pelvic floor problems. Now there's two solutions to this problem. The first is to try to breathe normally during your Kegel exercises. So if you now place one hand on your upper belly and feel it rise as you breathe in and out. So you can feel that lifting in and out. Now try to pull your belly in as you breathe normally. Can you see how hard that is to do? So when you try to breathe normally during your Kegels, you'll be less likely to pull your belly inwards. The second solution is to contract your pelvic floor muscles just gently at first rather than too strongly, and I've already mentioned this. Now, the final mistake that men tend to make is actually practicing the wrong exercises. Now, the exercises you can see here aren't Kegel exercises, and they won't specifically strengthen your pelvic floor despite what you may have heard or seen to the contrary. Now, here's the fix. The correct Kegels technique to improve bladder control and erectile function involves tightening as if to stop the flow of urine and shortening or retracting the penis inwards towards your body and doing those both at the same time. Now, if you're not sure, you can learn how to do the correct Kegels exercise in the video coming up next on your screen. So, in summary, four of the most common Kegels mistakes for men are one, doing your Kegel exercises too strongly. Do them gently, especially when you start out. Number two, breath holding. We want you to try and breathe normally. Number three was tensing the upper abdominal muscles while you're doing the exercises. Try to keep those relaxed. And number four, practicing the wrong exercise. So I really hope this Kegels information helps you get the training results you're after. Let me know how these tips help you in the comments below. And I'd really appreciate it if you can give this video the thumbs up if you found this information helpful too. Thanks so much for watching today. Look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.